Now, 12 months ago, the ATO kicked off their risk differentiation framework for large corporates. A month ago, they then, they, or maybe two months ago, they uh, decided to take that down, or they announced their decision to take that same risk differentiation framework down to the SMEs and high net worth individuals. Now, the ATO uh, is facing a challenging situation, very large audience in this particular space, and they're operating with a 10% reduced budget uh, over what they've had in previous years. And so they've introduced this, the risk differentiation framework. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this model. And if your clients are in quadrant one, top right-hand side, or quadrant three, bottom right-hand side, they're in for an interesting time. Take it from me, personally. If, you're in, if your clients are in quadrant one, not a lot of fun. If there's any exposure around transfer pricing, thin cap, um, CGT, R&D offsets, uh, the ATO are all over you at the moment and will continue to be so. So it's a very much a differentiated framework. They are applying aggressive levels of resources at quadrants one and three. So the challenge then, as firms representing your clients, is how do you juggle? How do you make sure uh, that cash flow uh, is at the appropriate levels each month? How do you handle uh, an increasing level of compliance uh, restrictions and at the same time, hopefully move up to doing more advisory work, to working as that knowledge partner or trusted advisor?